A number of large lessors have been reporting weakening demand for wide-body aircraft. As both lease and sales volume have been decreasing over the last 24 months, over 80 order cancellations were made last year. The wide-body fleet global share has been growing at a very slow pace with only a 2% increase over the last decade. Contrary to that, there is a steady decline of capacity served by wide bodies. This can be largely explained by the development of new generation airframe and engines in the single aisle market and the opportunity to use this aircraft on routes that previously could only be supported by larger jets. However, does this mean that perhaps wide bodies are proving to be less efficient on these same routes? If the market for this aircraft is becoming more niche, then perhaps there are now more twin aisle aircraft available than are required. We are shown here a send by Sirium A330 historical market values compared to the base value curve of the A330 NEO. This is a value depreciation trend for the aircraft that were first delivered, so 99 build A330s and their market value retention in subsequent years of operation. What you can see is that our forecast for the A330 NEO is below the historical performance of the A330. Adding to the existing implications for the wide body market, the type is still at a very early stage of the development. It entered service in 2018 and just 24 aircraft have been delivered since then. We are currently aware of 214 more of these aircraft on order, with the latest order for eight aircraft placed by Virgin Atlantic during Paris Air Show in June. We are to see more wide body developments in the coming years, such as 777X, which is due to enter service next year. How will it fit in the already saturated market and will the industry be able to sustain the volume of the supply in the wide body sector? For the stakeholders, it will be the one to watch and act on in the coming years.